Now let's look at a simple numerical associated with uh, a simple calculation of probability of ruin. An insurance company has a portfolio of two year policies. Okay. Aggregate annual claims from the policy from the portfolio follow an exponential distribution with a mean 10. So lambda is 1 by 10 in that case. Okay. Annual premiums of 15 are payable at the start of each year. The insurer checks for ruin only at the end of each year. The insurer starts with no capital. Calculate the probability that the insurer is not ruined. So if I am talking about uh, X1 is the claim amount, uh, the annual claim amount in the first year, X2 is the claim amount in the second year. Now, if at all the insurer should not ruin, okay, in the first year he is not ruined means probability of X1 should be less than 15. And at the same time, he should not be ruined at the end of the second year also means X1 plus X2 should, not, should be less than 30. These two things should occur. Right? Okay. Now we will uh, see I'll try to integrate it now because uh, the premiums wise uh, I'm getting 15. So I need to see whether the uh, what is the way out. Okay, probability of X1 less than 15. I can uh, very well uh, look at 0 to uh, 15 F of X DX. So F of X DX and here X1 plus X2. So, which means x2 is less than 30 minus x. Right? So, if I am taking this as the x, x1 part. So, what is the probability that x2 is less than 30 minus x dx? Now, the first part I know, f of x is nothing but it is following a exponential distribution. So, I will take it as lambda e power minus lambda x. Lambda is 1 by 10. 0 0.1 0 0.1 e to the power of minus 0.1 x and now when I have to look at probability of x2 less than x it is I will go with uh, the cumulative probability distribution 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda x so the same logic if I am putting it here, it is 1 minus of e to the power of minus lambda times 30 minus x. This entire thing gets integrated. Now let me look at it, what it is working out to 0 to 15, 0 0.1 e to the power of minus 0.1 x into 1 minus e to the power of minus 3 plus 0.1x dx. Now again, I will simplify it 0 to 15. So take me, take out 0.1 e to the power of minus 0.1x minus if I am looking at this, e to the power of minus 3 dx. Point 0.1 times. So, this is working out to point 0.1 times the integral between 0 to 15. Point 0.1 e to the power of minus point 0.1x minus 0 0.1 times e to the power of minus 3 dx. So, this part is still a constant, right? The entire part, if I am looking at 0 0.1, if I am uh, taking out, so this is working out to, right? If I, if I take out now, this 0 0.1 is not existing. I take out 0 0.1 e to the power of minus 0.1x by minus 
this I integrate it between 15 and 0 minus 0 0.1 times e to the power of minus 0.3 this is a constant this has to be integrated between 15 and 0 so this is multiplied by 15 Right, point 0.1 times e to the power of minus point 0.3. This I am multiplying it by 50. So this is coming out as minus of e to the power of minus 1.5 minus e to the power of 0 is minus 1 minus point 0.1 into 15, 1.5 times e to the power of minus 3. So it is nothing but 1 minus e to the power of minus 1.5 minus 1.5 times e to the power of minus 3. So let us try the simplification part of the probability of ruin or this is the probability that the insurer will not be ruined. Okay, The probability that the insurer will not be ruined here is nothing but 1 minus of e to the power of minus 1.5 minus 1.5 times e to the power of minus 3 which is working out to 70.21 percent. So there is almost a 30 percent chance with this kind of a story the insurer is going to be ruined and around 70 percent chance that he will not be ruined. So step by step if I am trying to work out and solve the numerical I can very well achieve the desired result. Alright.